Okay, so before I get started, I want to say that uh, two things happened since my uh, first part of this video. Um, first thing is, <laughs> the weather became really um, late autumn-like, so I'm wearing my winter stuff. And the second thing, I got my hair cut, but it turned out to be really shorter than I actually wanted it to. So I feel like I miss my hair. All right, so, okay. About the relationship with yourself, self-love, all that. Uh, so, um, in the first part, I just described how usually things happen, how people um, are not loved, uh, and how they do not love themselves, and how they project their fear and pain on the partner, and all that. Um, so if you didn't see, just check it out. Um, and now I want to say about the solution. So, uh, solution would be... Um, <clears throat> in uh, conscious uh, understanding of all the reasons and for that you have to go right inside and you have to ask yourself questions really uncomfortable questions like why I'm feeling this and you just go and hear you answer till you just come to the zero point for that, you have to liberate yourself from fear, um, guilt, and shame. Because if you have guilt and shame, you won't be able to go um, to the bottom and you will be on the surface all the time. For example, if you inside feel like you have this suppression, suppressed emotion that you want to kill someone and you have this idea that it's bad. So this idea that it's bad um, makes you feel guilty about that. And so instead of just going right to the root of this emotion you just forbid yourself even to look at it and that's how all types of mental hell and mental circles create um, so the way out the exit uh, would be in uh, total honesty and liberation from uh, fear shame and guilt you don't have to be scared of what's there inside of you if you're scared that you want to kill someone you will never be able to go to this inner peace I'm not saying that you have to go and you know just <laughs> be violent of course not it's not the way you have to realize who you are and by that you will realize who others are and so you will see reasons and effects of everything that happens in the world so all the questions that you have now will fall away and you will understand from the inside and that's how it goes so um, you have to set the intent uh, you have to set uh, this great trustworthy not a trustworthy just uh, trust based relationship with your spirit with yourself with your personality uh, a lot of people they look for this one person to be with I was the one of these people I also uh, was looking for one person but uh, I have just realized uh, one day and I'm glad about it that it's not the way it works <laughs> um, a lot of efforts in my past they just uh, were aimed onto this idea to find this person and you know I found people and we got this uh, interaction but you know what uh, it never worked um, this moment uh, occurred when people had their shadows and their shadows just would rise up straight and project their shit onto me and I was the one who didn't really know what's there inside because I didn't really care that much I just was avoid avoiding to go there and so I was really frustrated and hurt and um, 
I thought something was wrong with me or with them and I, because I didn't know. And once I just felt something was completely wrong, I realized that something was completely wrong with the approach, with the whole thing. I was searching the wrong place. So I just turned my stare inside instead of just um, putting it onto outer objects. And I realized a lot of things and I never regretted it, never ever re regretted it. <laughs> and uh, so I've realized that, first of all, we have to set relationship, a great relationship with our spirit, with our higher aspect. That's exactly that person we're looking for. That's our spirit. If we don't have this relationship with our spirit, everything else is just useless. Because we always have this emptiness inside. Just the same as we sometimes have emptiness after having sex. Because it wasn't filled with understanding and understanding comes from within if you understand yourself and you love your body and you understand that your body is your partner not sexual partner just partner and you understand that sexual energy is not just energy that you have when you experience sex it's just energy is creative energy of life and it's amazing and there is nothing wrong with it isn't there's is nothing wrong with you and there is nothing wrong with your partner uh, and there is nothing wrong with your shadow uh, or the shadow of your partner. Shadow is just suppression. Uh, it's just suppression itself. And I have this a video which is called sh the shadow part, and I'm speaking about that. Um, but if you just go inside, I'm sure you will get it what it is because you have just the same knowledge inside. So go and check it out. <laughs> um, if you're not ready to go inside, go and check out my video. So. Um, if we set our relationship with our spirit and with our inner essence, only in this case we will be able to set great relationship with others. And this relationship, they won't be looking as um, some idea from the book. They will be different, totally different, uh, really um, unique in each single case, without this whole approach of. Uh, meeting each other, playing those games, those tricks. Women just uh, wear makeup in order to, you know, seduce the man, and the man just buy flowers and candies, all that, you know, uh, cheesy, um, creepy things. And then they just trap each other, and then they think they're done. They think, oh, we did it. So they just get married, get, give birth, and they're totally unsatisfied. And if they still together after 50 years, they are saying to their <laughs> adult children, oh, we just, we did it, you know? We've been together for so many years after lying to each other every single day. <laughs> well, if someone thinks that's a big achievement, I don't. So, uh, get started now with being honest with yourself. And if you have a lot of blockages, get started with being a little more honest with yourself. Once you start, you'll like it.